All right, guys, this right here is one of my favorite niches that I've ever built, and today I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to make sure that we have absolutely no sliver cuts, so I'll show you how to frame it out so that you don't have any sliver cuts, and I'll show you how to do the tile work itself. Let's get into the video. All right, so our niche is going to go right in here, and it's going to be uh, flush with this wall, so the tile is going to run into the niche. And we're going to have a shelf in there as well. And then, so basically it's gonna be a double ganger here. So what I wanna do first is find out where is my start of the niche. And for me, it's gonna be right here. So that's the start of my niche. That's where I want my tile to basically stick out. So because I want the tile to be there, I want my, I want this uh, uh, where I cut it to come down at least half an inch because I have to put some uh, uh, drywall in there for, for blocking but I'm gonna come down an eighth more just to give myself a little bit of wiggle room. So this way when I set my tile, it's just gonna to have to be, um, the thin set's gonna be a little bit fat. So now I'm going to set this line nice and level. So then I know exactly where to cut it and then make my mark, make my mark right there. So that's the mark that I'm, I'm going to cut. But now let's figure out the top of the niche and where we're going to end. So what I'm gonna do is just stack this up and see which line I'm going to end on. And to stack it up, I'm just going to hold my level here. Um, you could measure, but I never trust my my measuring skills, I guess, so. We're gonna do the exact same thing here at the top where I'm gonna give myself half an inch of room and then another eighth of an inch just in case to give myself some wiggle room. You never want to build this stuff perfect because the work never really, you need to have some allowance in your work in order to uh, make sure you don't screw it up. So that's going to go from there into there. All right, there, and then we have this mark. Now I have to get my, uh, my drywall saw and cut this out. now we made our marks right here and here on this stud that we need to cut out. This mark is pitched a little bit because I want this bottom sill to have a little bit of slope just in case when the water hits it, it wants to run out. And then the top one is nice and flat just because it doesn't have to uh, have that pitch. So now all I gotta do is grab my multi-tool, I have it somewhere, and then just cut these things out and get this stud out. All right, so in here, I'm gonna cut out a little bit more of this um, just because the demo kind of got away from me a little bit here. Plus, I don't wanna have so many overlapping membranes here when I'm waterproofing. So I'm gonna cut this back to here. So I'll put a new piece of drywall and then I'll overlap it out here, which will be much less. So that's next. All right, now all that we have to do is get our blocking and then set our block in here. All right, so I'm getting ready to drywall everything here. Obviously this back piece, I'm not able to put screws in. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of thin set on the back here, and thin set will hold it in place. All right, so now that we have our drywall done, what I gotta figure out is the membrane. And the way I do that is basically just get my measuring tape and then run it right through here. And then I know that I need at least two inch overlap. So if I'm at 32, I'm gonna go to 37. So that's a little more than two inch. So I'm gonna go to 37 by, do need two inch overlaps on this as well. 37 by 44 is what I need. 37 by 44 square. And then I got I got to just fit it in there. All right, so we got our membrane in and all the corners inside at least. So I do have an outside corner that I can put on here from Guru, but I'm not going to do that because I'm installing this three by six subway tile. It's super small. 
So I don't wanna bump this corner out too much because it's going to push out my tile and make lippage. So what I'm going to do is just get some red guard and then just red guard these outside corners right through here. Um, will this void my guru warranty? Most likely, but will this void the, uh, the warranty for the homeowners? Absolutely not because we do warranty all of our work. Um, so this is just the thing that I wanna do just to make sure that my work here is nice and clean. If you are doing like 12 by 24 tile or any larger tile, you don't have to worry about that. Just do an outside corner, um, but that's what I'm gonna do here. Okay, so here we're trying to figure out the detail on how this is going to look and it's all you just have to take your time with it and see what it will look nice with so i got myself one of these uh little pencil trims and i thought it would look really nice so i basically added a little return right here on my sill i cut it about half an inch longer this piece will line up right with the edge of that then i'm going to add my next piece of tile and look how nice that looks. I'm really, really happy with, with that corner. And then we're gonna have um, one, two, three more rows here. And then our next sill will have that exact same reveal on this side. So we'll be able to fill this in. And then on this side, same thing. So, I mean, we weren't sure if we wanted to go like that, like this, whatever. So like, you have to mess around with this until you actually like it. This is artistic, take your time with it. Make sure you talk to somebody like your wife or your husband, whatever, like whoever, and see how you like it and then move forward with it. Let's continue. All right, so here's, we got our second piece and same thing on here. I'm just going to add a little shim in the back right there to make sure that we have that pitch that we need in order for the water to run off if the water hits that shelf um i'm going to keep with this detail so i want to make sure that i have a nice little notch coming this way and then that i'm sitting on this tile then i'm going to have this piece right here overlapping that and it's going to look really really nice once i grab cock all of this it will look very nice and consistent but essentially that's our next step is to tile all of this in and get to this sill. 